This movie is wonkaful, charming, and delicious. My words make no sense. Dreaming of launching a shop in a city celebrated for its chocolate, a young financially struggling Willy Wonka discovers that a cartel of greedy chocolatiers controls the industry. This movie was so charming to me. As soon as the movie starts, it charms you with its look and feel and the gentle musical numbers. The lighthearted humor and the Wonka world that was introduced to me as I was watching the movie in the first five minutes was so lovely and I was just ready for the ride. Director Paul King, who also directed the Paddington series, captures your heart when you least expect it. It was a little bit of Paul King, but it was also a lot of the supporting cast, which had some of my most favorite actors. As an example, Olivia Coleman is one of my favorite actors and she can deliver just about any role. In Wonka, she plays this villain-like role, which is a nice balance to Timothy's charming and likability. And to my absolute delight, we have Matt Lucas, Rowan Atkinson, and Jim Carter, who also joined the supporting cast. And as a Downton Abbey fan, when I heard Jim Carter sing Scrub Scrub, my heart melted and then it grew again and then melted again. It was just so lovely to hear him sing. Scrub Scrub. And of course, you have the big three supporting cast members, Keegan-Michael Key, Kayla Lane, and Hugh Grant, which were all terrific. All three of them have a much bigger supporting cast role, especially Kayla Lane, who you might connect with in this movie and might be one of the many reasons why you're crying as you're watching this movie. If, if it gets you, you're going to cry. Maybe it got me. It didn't. Yes, it did. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? I don't know. I've never had any. You've never had chocolate? But yes, the star of this movie is definitely my best friend, Timothy Charlemagne. We're not friends. It was smooth and likable and had a bit of innocence to it, which actually makes sense because this is a young Wonka who hasn't seen success yet. And the movie's very clear about it. It comes in a song form and we find out that Wonka is actually broke and only has his dreams. He is only rich in dreams. But this young Willy Wonka is also a friend, an entrepreneur, an ambitious entrepreneur, a product of a great mother. And it was so effortless for me to fall in love with him. I wanted him to succeed, not just for him, but also for the people in his life. Because in the movie, if Wonka succeeds, his friends also succeed. And I just wanted them to find happiness. You know, it's a little bit funny because I'm having a bit of trouble critiquing this movie. There were things in the plot that didn't make sense, but then I was reminded I was watching a movie for kids about magic and dreams. So it was kind of forgiven, and I just understand and appreciate the movie for what it was. And then some of the parts of the movie felt like I was watching a play, but that's usually the vibe that I also get from musicals. And then if I'm honest, I catch myself kicking and dancing my feet as I'm sitting down watching this musical play out in front of me. It's not perfect, but then again, maybe it's not supposed to be, and that's okay. I thought about my passions and my dreams and how much I loved magic as a kid and how thankful I am for having a mother who bought me a magic kit when I was 10. The movie was charming, heartwarming, and funny, and a movie that I think I could recommend to anyone. Yes, it's a kid's movie, but there's also adult themes of corruption and capitalism. I felt good watching this movie. I felt happy watching this movie. I also connected with it in a very emotional way. And by the time the movie was over, I definitely wanted some chocolate. And speaking of things being over, that's all the time that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you like movies, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to check out the last review I did on Maestro, check out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.